New York Congressman Elise Stefanik is speaking out now. Uh, she's not only urging Cuomo to resign, but she's also calling for his arrest, and she joins us now. Uh, Congresswoman, thank you for joining us. We saw your tweet. Cuomo's digging in, you said, truly believes he is above the law. And he unbelievably starts by complaining how his family has been through a lot. That is remarkable. What about the victims? And he attacked Charlotte Bennett, you write. This is textbook assaulter blaming the victim. Much Im must impeach immediately. Congresswoman, your thoughts? My thoughts are the governor must resign. Obviously, we know he's going to refuse that. He must imp be impeached, and the state legislature must move to that immediately. Joe Biden must immediately speak out and say the governor should resign. Because months ago, Joe Biden said on the record, that if the allegations are proven to be true, which we now see in the attorney general's report, he must resign. The White House needs to make a statement on that. They need to make it crystal clear. Otherwise, they are complicit. I was proud to be the first member, the first federal elected official to call for an independent investigation of the sexual assault, sexual harassment and sexual abuse of multiple victims. And we learned just how absolutely heinous and how um, this became typical. This was part of a toxic work environment in the governor's office on the taxpayer's dime. And earlier today when Kaylee mentioned, you know, the governor trying to come up with any excuse and claiming sexism of his female aides, it's not just the female aides that created this toxic workplace. It was also his male aides as well who smeared and retaliated against the victim. Uh, Congresswoman Stefanik, it's uh, John Roberts here. Uh, so you have said that you believe that the president the vice president, the uh, New York Assembly Speaker, and others should come out and call for his resignation or begin impeachment proceedings. It, it's unclear whether an impeachment proceeding actually would get underway because I, I believe uh, some senior members of the New York State Assembly on the Democratic side have said that this report alone likely wouldn't be enough. But if, if, if some of his closest allies begin to abandon him, how long can he theoretically hang on to the reins of power there in New York State? John, that's unacceptable from senior Democratic leaders. It is unacceptable. They need to feel the pressure from their constituents and every New Yorker. We have an example of a governor who is who wants to live by a different set of rules than an everyday New Yorker. Mm. He committed federal crimes as well as he broke state laws as well, laws that he signed uh, into law. And we need to make sure that they feel the pressure publicly and the accountability that they absolutely must move forward with impeachment. We need to hear from Kathy Hochul, who is the lieutenant governor of New York State. She needs to speak out and call for the governor's impeachment immediately. She has been woefully silent throughout all of these accusations. So it is unacceptable. I was glad to hear Mayor de Blasio called for impeachment. We need to hear that immediately. There's no excuse for any of these Democrat elected officials not to immediately move towards impeachment proceedings. Uh, Congressman, I want to flash back to President Biden in March when he was asked as this investigation was underway uh, about the findings and what he would be looking for as far as a resignation from Cuomo, depending on what we learned. Here was, here was Biden in March. If the investigation confirms the claims of the women, should he resign? Yes, I think he'd probably end up being prosecuted, too. It's been silence from the White House since Letitia James announced this, uh, the findings of this report. That she began her news conference at 11 a.m. Eastern time, Congressman. I have, I have not heard from the White House yet. We have not seen a response from the White House. Jen Psaki, uh, the obvious female press secretary who is about to be at the podium 19 minutes from now at the White House, silence, have not seen reaction from her on Twitter. I imagine that will be a central focus of that briefing when it begins at 2. Well, they need to publicly call for his resignation, and Joe Biden said he should be prosecuted, and he should be. The U.S. Department of Justice, since there were federal crimes committed, this is not something to distract and protect Governor Cuomo, which is what this administration unfortunately has chosen to do when it comes to the nursing home scandals. This is crystal clear examples of being unfit for office, impeachable offenses, multiple crimes committed. So my expectation is the White House, when Jen Psaki gets up on that podium, she better call for Governor Cuomo's resignation and impeachment and prosecution because that's what the President of the United States said months ago on record. And now we know because of the uh, very in-depth work yeah. that the New York Attorney General conducted. Apparently, uh, Kirsten Gillibrand has now uh, said that uh, he should resign as well. But I don't know if you saw the full presentation that the governor put on at the top of the hour, Congresswoman, but he has no intention of going anywhere. Uh, 
and, and how can you practically get him out of office if you put pressure on him to resign, but you don't actually undertake impeachment proceedings? That's why the impeachment proceedings are so important, John. But, but, um, that, but you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I, but that's, 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 that's likely not to happen. Well, we are going to continue to push. There are more elected officials calling for his impeachment than there was, you know, a week ago or a day ago. And every elected official needs to feel that pressure from their constituents. Multiple Democrat members of the Assembly and Senate have called for impeachment. This has changed from yesterday to today. Just looking at the in-depth report, how many examples of victims there were. These were committed on state property to state employees, and they retaliated. There are multiple laws that have been broken here. Um, so the impeachment proceedings, that's what we are focused on. Again, this has changed from a week ago to where we are today. This has been happening in plain sight, which is why I was one of the first to call for the independent investigation and really make sure the governor is held accountable. And when it comes to Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, she was the last federal elected official to call for his resignation months ago. She is holding him to a different standard than she did Al Franken. When she has said on the record she supports zero tolerance, she needs to call for his impeachment as well. So, again, every New Yorker should know that if their elected official is a Democrat in the state assembly or mm -hmm. state senate, they have been covering for the governor. And now is the time to make sure that we all live by equal rule of law and that laws apply equally no matter if you're governor of New York State or if you're an everyday New Yorker. I want to also put this out there, Congresswoman, uh, because we are just now learning that Assembly Democrats are planning an emergency meeting after what they describe as disturbing Cuomo sexual harassment report. Uh, the Democrats who control the state assembly are going to hold this emergency meeting this afternoon to discuss the bombshell state investigative report that found Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women. So we're looking through this. It appears that that is going to begin at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, the obvious... And they should move towards impeachment. They should discuss moving towards impeachment. I know John asked about that, but... The reality is the circumstances have changed. We now have a very comprehensive report conducted by the New York Attorney General. Congresswoman, thank you. Thank you.